who has endured and continued I stand by the God of heaven and I announce to you that in this season go forward in this season go forward according to Exodus chapter 14 from verse 13 to 15 I stand by the God of heaven and I declare to you that it is time for you to go forward in your career go forward in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the Spirit that every tongue that rises up against you in this season let it be judged for your sake I prophesy Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 over your life and I will give David's Christian center favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass in this 2021 that as ye go provided you will go if you will not go there is no favor but if you will go I assure you you will not go empty this scripture is for those who have the courage to go for as long as you have the courage to advance to take that risk in righteousness I declare you will not go empty in the name of Jesus Christ and every voice that has lied to you that it will be as before master we have tried all night we tried it in 2019 we tried it in 2020 I bring you a prophetic word go back again this time around with an anointing this time around with an unction go back again this time around with favor this time around with faith go back again in the name of Jesus Christ can I pray for your loved ones? In Africa, you are not free if you are the only one who is blessed. You have to pray that everybody around you is also blessed. It is always as for me and my house. I declare for your loved ones who are not here, but because you are standing here at Greatest Christian Center, I join my faith with that of Pastor Kingsley and his wife. And in the name of Jesus, as a threefold cord, we speak to you and to the families represented in this ministry and the families of those following online or whatever platform in the name of Jesus be blessed be blessed go forward advance gain strength achieve much in the spirit in the name of Jesus I pray finally for your prayer life you see no matter what else you gain if your spiritual life is down you are really down let me pray for your prayer life and your word study life for some of you last year you had no time for God you were busy here and there but I declare in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh fire upon your prayer altar passion for the word I release upon you passion for fellowship fellowship with the brethren in the name of Jesus Christ so that those who have been asleep spiritually in terms of prayer he said awake thou that sleepest awake 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 don't just wake your mind your spirit man now I'm seeing that the devil has kept me down in the next two or three minutes I'd like you to just find a place and pray pray and generate power in the spirit go ahead and pray the fervent he says effectual prayer of the righteous man availed much someone pray David's Christian Center pray Pray to a more superior dimension of yourself. Pray and make decrees. Where are the watchers? The men and the women of prayer. Pray in 
enough is enough new season in my destiny someone is praying every chain that has held me the lord rebuke you ministry i command that door a father open Gita and Tita. Lagos be open unto me pray Pray. Pray. Decree and declare that thou mightest be justified. pray just a few minutes outside make sure you're praying those of you following online engage in the spirit pray atmosphere shift now chains be broke break down holy spirit move now Heaven open, heaven open, atmosphere, shift the climate over your life, shift the climate over your ministry, shift the climate over your family. Jesus in the name of Jesus Acts chapter 12 we're praying from verse 1 my God I sense such an anointing in this place Acts chapter 12 watch this he says now about that time the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church verse 2 and he killed James the brother of John with the sword next verse he said and because he saw that it pleased the jews he proceeded further to take peter also these were the days of unliving bread verse 4 and when he had apprehended him watch what he did to peter he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending that by easter he can bring him forth to the people Peter can be your favor. Peter can be your next level. Peter can be your influence. Trapped and kept. But, verse 5. Read with me if you are a Christian. It says, therefore, Peter therefore was kept in prison. Go ahead and read. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Are you ready to pray? A prayer of release everything that has been tied down i decree and declare be released right now go ahead and pray i declare jubilee 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 over my destiny jubilee over ministry a season of the release in the name of jesus outside pray in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there is a grace I'm trusting God for that will come on someone's life let me show you that grace we're still on that scripture Acts chapter 12 the Bible says verse 6 
please listen carefully that when Herod would have brought him forth the same night as he was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prisoner uh -huh. it says behold the angel of the Lord came upon him and light shine in the prison and he smote Peter by the side and raised him up saying arise quickly and the chains fell off from his hand follow carefully and the angel said to him gird thyself and bind thy sandals so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me in response to prayer verse 9 may God open your eyes and he went out and followed him and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel he thought he was in a vision verse 10 he says they passed three kinds of gates let me teach you a mystery there was the first gate that they passed he was out of prison but he was not yet free they passed a second gate he was far from oppression but he was not yet enjoying liberty the bible says they came to a mysterious gate called the iron gate that leads to the city your city is your place of influence that there is a gate that the moment that gate is open the city must hear your voice listen to me i want to pray for you and i want you to pray first this gate you see has kept many people that there is an iron gate that opens when that gate opens your voice must be heard there are businessmen there are sincere preachers anointed and great but the iron gate still stops their visibility are you ready to pray he said he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder you are going to open your mouth that by the blood of the lamb the gates that must open for your visibility command it to be open hither and thither go ahead and pray the iron gates in ministry in business the gates of destiny that must be open so that those that were sent to your grace will know that you are there territorial iron gates financial iron gates ministerial iron gates a father be open a father be open a father be open hallelujah hallelujah let me give us one last scripture first thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 paul was speaking to the church in thessalonica and he shared with them a very deep mystery please read with me if you can see it projected ready one to read wherefore we would have come unto you even i paul once and again wherefore your favor would have reached you since last year wherefore it kept trying what you are looking for has also been looking for you but satan hindered us the helper of your destiny long instructed by god to come and hold your hand in ministry but satan please don't think you are wasting your time tonight satan he says i paul once and again i tried when you prayed it's not that god did not answer the man who would partner with the spirit to come to you satan hindered us the financial helpers that would have been sent by god to make the work easy for you it looks like god just left you destitute but satan are you about to declare now that in the name of jesus everything that stands as a hindrance to the helpers of your destiny and the virtues and the graces that must set you free in the name of jesus satan the lord rebuke you open your mouth and pray the hindrance is gone the lord rebuke you Shalapakatoskatabakata. Enteres Kateshka Barakatoshkotopreketea. 
Satan, the Lord rebuke you. 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 Satan. Hallelujah. Let me speak over your life. Our time is gone. Brought you down to a point where your prayer life has gone down. In the name of Jesus, I stand in partnership with Pastor Kingsley and we declare over you fresh fire upon your prayer altar. Help them, please. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. The unction for discernment. I'm seeing the number 12. Let it come upon you right now. Take that grace. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. Take that grace for discernment. Supernatural discernment. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Darkness from a distance looks like light. It takes discernment to know what is light. Let me speak over every closed door. By the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the privilege of priesthood, I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and I speak every door that has been closed over your life in the name of Jesus, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and I speak over that door. A father, be open now. 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 By wisdom, O oh God. Heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the seasons Creating day and night, turning darkness into light Arranging the stars to your pleasing Everyone ordained to lift your hands in this season Help us of destiny I don't know where they are but I prophesy to the north I speak to the south I speak to the east and the west wherever the helpers of your destiny are I command them to appear in your life I command that they show up in your life Let me speak over your finances don't say it does not matter it does it does there is a prophetic dimension to wealth by this time tomorrow he said what are you turning to wine open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you There's none like you Into the darkness you shine Into the darkness you shine Out of the ashes Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you Your God is mighty. Our God is greater. 
our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher. Lord, you are higher than any. Our God is healer. Awesome power. listen I'm wrapping up when it has to do with the subject of supplies and abundance there is a place for value and productivity there is a place for relationships and all of these factors but in the kingdom we are not left without an advantage there is a prophetic dimension to wealth and abundance it says believe in the Lord your God so shall you be established believe his prophets believe his prophets so shall you prosper herein lies the pride of our world today i know that the prophetic has been abused there are imbalances here and there but within the boundary of accuracy and the boundary of scripture the prophetic can work wonders i want to pray over someone you will marvel and wonder at what God does in your life in the name of Jesus Christ I call upon the God of my covenant that between now and the next 90 days according to the mystery of the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom standing in faith with your man of God in the name of Jesus by the privilege of this election of grace I speak to your finances experience strange favor strange favor supernatural abundance in the name of Jesus I compel men and systems and structures I command them to respond favorably Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty I forbid emptiness from your life Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the B part says and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her not some all I pray for you anyone who looks upon you from tonight may that glory that is upon you compel them to stand by you to help you let me specially pray for all those who have stood by the man of God in prayers in love in support in partnership I pray for you in the name of Jesus God is not a fraudster God is not a scammer I stand in faith with him and I declare my God the God of this vision and this commission may he supply your needs according to his riches in glory even by Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus you will get jobs you did not apply for people who have forgotten you I open the book of remembrance for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you finally the grace for speed that God would take 10 years and put it in one month for you believe it believe it and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab I speak to ministries here I speak to businesses here in the name of the Lord God who called me I prophesy to you in one month receive the result of five years I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus there are doors that men can shut it depends on who is opening it I decree and declare anyone standing before a closed door please hear me in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you enter your open doors enter that open door I speak to that door a father be open 
be open be open be open be open prayer point number one are you ready to pray say in the name of Jesus please shout it loud and clear in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that from this day forward I make reasonable progress go ahead and pray open your mouth and begin to pray by the power of the Holy Spirit someone is praying everywhere in the name of Jesus I make reasonable progress reasonable progress the Bible says he went forward, he advanced until the Philistines envied him. He began to prosper and to go forward in the name of Jesus from this day. Someone pray as you are declaring so it will become in your life. I make progress. Koinonia makes progress in the name of Jesus supernatural progress by the power of the Holy Spirit hallelujah shout it say in the name of Jesus everything required for my excelling in this new season I receive it by faith go ahead and pray everything needed connections resources spiritual intelligence access to the hearts of kings everything required for your excelling someone pray everything required man of god pray politician pray businessman pray and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things that you will abound in every good work shapra kate pakata prokotos kate lakash embrantes kote barakosh kalifre kate baska sibata elikatos kafrandas kabaragatosh kalifre kate i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ everything needed for my excelling in this new season prabata kabaratos kiata balasiata hallelujah are you tired of praying say in the name of jesus every person and every platform anointed to announce me in this season i decree and declare it must work in my favor go ahead and pray every person and every platform they will walk in my favor announcing the good tidings of jesus the bible says when jesus was born there were there was a star that announced his arrival every person and every platform that should announce you announce your business announce the investment of the spirit upon your life to your world activates them by prayer in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that the Lord of peace himself will give me peace always and by all means lift your voice and pray the giver of peace trouble is far from your life someone is declaring as we get into the ember months trouble is far from my life the God of peace himself is granting me peace always peace in the name of jesus final prayer point and then we'll pray over your request hallelujah are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus the mantle for favor rest upon my life the mantle of honor rest upon my life go ahead and pray decree and declare the mantle for favor the mantle of honor rest upon my life someone is praying rest upon my life favor and honor rest upon my life for the sake of his majesty rest upon my life 
rest upon my life favor honor at the gates favor honor with gatekeepers with captains of industry in politics in government in career in ministry someone pray is a serious prayer point the mantle for favor the mantle of honor rest upon my life for in jesus name we pray please stretch your hands towards the altar and begin to declare over the request that you wrote now there are things you may not be able to tell everybody but if you are yet to write you're here to bring your requ your request please bring it let's have anyone's left please stretch your hands and begin to declare the bible says in philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 it says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god someone is praying go ahead and declare go ahead and declare in the name of jesus go ahead and declare someone is praying people are already receiving answers in the name of jesus christ go ahead and declare over this prayer request i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit someone is praying this captivity comes to an end this captivity comes to an end this captivity comes to an end for someone declare prophetically i close every negative door i open every door blessing favor lifting in the name of jesus please if, if there are still some let's let's have them so that we can pray don't be tired you are declaring by miracle service september you are only returning with thanksgiving for in jesus name we pray shout a loud amen i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit every pharaoh and every king that must send for you even if they are hedonistic the king that sent for joseph was not a believing king but he still sent for him i don't care where the quotas are provided it is directed by god whoever must send for you for your rising i declare they send for you now in the name of jesus the resources and the access for god to give you your own place he called it rehoboth he said for god has given my I, my own space where your land is in this city or in this nation and where the resources for god to honor you with structural establishment to give you the focus to live destiny with dignity i release that grace upon you now yeah. hear me in the name of jesus even though i know that around our nation things seem very tight when you look at things physically it looks like things are not lining up but i want to place a mark of exemption upon you i decree and declare please hear me by the power that raised christ from the dead when men say there is a casting down let it be minus you i say it again let it be minus you in the name of jesus christ any demonic programming to kidnap you or any of your loved one please receive this prayer whether by road whether in the air by the power that raised christ from the dead for as long as you are on the road no devil will stop you to oppress you there are territories that have patterns where those who work for things never enjoy it have you seen that pattern you labor there are people who have raised others there are people in nigeria almost every great name they participated in their rising and yet there is nothing for you it's a spirit it's a pattern they sit over territories
Makalana Makatos Kate Brendeke Bakos Skate Bakatos Sande Patalakatos Embrekete Katos Koti Barakata Skata Bata Katos Kate Kata Embrekete Katos Koto Bakata Kebas Kebas Ketalis Kanea Embrekete Katos Kati Balakata Shadakata bakata katos, emprete ke parakatos kati kata, ke prende skete lakatos kati yada, kaparis kati yaha. Just pray in the spirit in one minute. Sanakata bakatos koto prende kata, kileks ke ni matos koto prende kati yaha. I sought for a man who would stand in the gap that I would not destroy them. Hallelujah. Let me finish because we are going to pray tonight. Worship team, get ready. You will sing that my song for me again. Ah, my spirit is fired up. Listen, you have to say enough is enough. If not for your sake, for your children unborn. I've gone through the pain already. Let innocent people not go through this again. I've gone through the poverty. I went through the pain of idolatry. I went through the pain of polygamy. I went through the pain of delay. Go through it for their sake. That is the character of an intercessor. Shakata bakatos, ebrente ketes koto baskatia, ebreketa rekete koto koto ketea, rebas koto shanakata miyakata. Someone pray, you are engaging the spirit for the sake of those connected to you. Shadakata Bakatos, a Prokotos Koto Begete Lakata. Listen to me. Hear me. Please listen to me. I'm teaching you the principles of prophetic intercession. There are families where the children will always bring shame to the parents. No matter the investment. It's not that they are bad. They find themselves going to fish trouble and return back with shame. You send them to go for studies. They return with shame. Wasting your money and your time. Remember what I taught you. He continued further. If and when unhindered, evil will always continue further. Hear me. Let me tell you this. I made up my mind and I made a covenant with God that everything I've suffered in my life it ends with me my children will never whether spiritual or physical they will never this is the character of an intercessor in one minute i'd like you to pray send prayer investments let it end with me let it end with me the poverty the failure the limitations let it end here thus far have you come no further shall you go pray 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 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please sit down please sit down just help those under the anointing now hear me please don't be distracted we are praying I want you right now as you are seated in one minute study the patterns you have seen in your family just think about it honestly
study the patterns you have seen from the region you come from there are regions that have the spirit of anger there are regions that have the spirit of disunity there are regions that have the spirit of irresponsibility it's the women that serve the men there are regions that have help them please Kabashka Nikatosia widespread laziness Oh 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 I can see with the eyes of the spirit and i see a mighty army rising yes i know they're rising in the thousands coming from afar coming from afar hey. oh, oh, oh. Hear me please listen carefully listen it was from zaria that the lord sent me here there is a spirit over that region you start a walk it does not last more than three years something must happen that brings you down you may still be there but you never maintain the texture of your glory there are regions like that I sought for a man who would stand in the gap. Woe betides a family with no intercessor. Woe betides a business with no intercessor. Don't you think because it's business you don't intercede? Woe betides a ministry that has sounds and mics and has beautiful skilled people but without intercessors. Woe betides a preacher without personal intercessors no matter how anointed you are in this end times if there are no men who can hold on the altar for you you may not last i tell you the evil of the times will eat you up to your shame and surprise Please sit down. Controlling powers. I've shared with you my vision that I was praying some years ago when the ceiling in my room just disappeared and I'm seeing this spirit and this being looking at me looking like Leviathan looking like, like, like a dinosaur with a tail that had its own life the eyes were big as a human eye and he says so you think you can bring god's people into abundance and i saw that spirit there are horns that stop the voices of men from rising to the nations there are many anointed people in this nation there are many gifted people in many families but there are spirits sitting on their glory rise up on your feet let the mantle of the intercessor the grace for prayer and supplication may it come upon you tonight every laziness in your prayer life whatever has fought your prayer life that you do not know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar 
and change things spiritually in the name of Jesus I decree and declare fresh fire upon your altar and hear me whatever has continued because your intercessory ministry was absent I stand by the grace of God and we bring an end to it now hear me please I want you to leave this meeting tonight knowing that at the very least you are the intercessor for your family start there the dynamics of interceding for territories there are higher and deeper levels of spiritual intelligence there is a series on that and I will teach you but you can start with your family he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it destroy it not when you leave this place you can use this night use tomorrow and pray lock yourself collect the prayer request from your family members send them a text and say please forward me your prayer request put them before the God of your salvation and begin to engage the mysteries of the kingdom pray God reveals to you something about your pastor about what he wants to do in the church put it down pray and you watch what begins to happen when a people pray in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that as you commit to the ministry of intercession let the harvest of your intercession come to you number two let the intercessory ministry open you up to deep realms of mysteries in the spirit and number three let the ministry of the intercessor multiply your authority and the power of God at work in your life you will speak over your family and heaven will stamp it you will speak over regions and territories and it will be so even by the decree of the watchers in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and I agree with you whatever burden you came here with every service is a miracle service there might be an official season but every service once there is faith and hunger it is a miracle service therefore I agree with you that everything you came here trusting God for I release my faith with you may it become your testimony this moment in the name of Jesus Christ oh, 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 I can see with the eyes of the Spirit and I see a mighty army rising yes I know they're rising in the thousands coming from afar coming from afar oh, oh, oh. Listen, in the next five minutes, there is going to be a mighty impartation. Listen. You can choose to spectate and watch others 
or you can cry to your maker and say lord if this is the moment let this be a destiny encounter someone lift up your voice and in the next one minute i don't know how you are going to cry to god now hear me please listen to me i must tell you this before we begin this impartation whether you're on the ground whether you're kneeling just listen hear me can i tell you the purity of heart and the desire to glorify jesus is the biggest attractor of the power of god the purity of heart and the desire to glorify jesus not a desire for fame not a desire for competition let me have it too so i can prophesy like the rest let me have it too so no one will mock me the agenda of god is bigger than self-aggrandizement the purity of heart i repeat and the desire to see jesus glorified he said, nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every man that named the name of Christ depart from iniquity. It says, but in a great house, there are vessels of gold and silver, of wood and clay. Some vessels are unto honor, and some vessels are unto dishonor. It says, if a man will purge himself, that man will be a vessel unto honor meat for the master's use i want you to pray one prayer lord purify my heart purify my heart edit my motives take away the secret desire for competition the secret desire to outshine the secret desire to trample on others the secret desire to be the only celebrity carrying on power lord take it out of my life purify my motive someone pray Someone pray. 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 Someone I'm just seeing angelic manifestations right now and I'm about to speak there is an opening of the gates please whether you are an usher or not I want you to just bring those under the anointing here now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I'm seeing the spirit of revelation access to light the mysteries of the kingdom where are they let it come upon you like the dew of Hamon take that grace take that grace take that grace Receive that mantle, take that grace, and release you. Call them please so they don't enjoy themselves. Receive that grace. I empower you by that mantle. The eyes that see, the ears that hear. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, fire upon your life. Let your eyes be washed with eyes up, that you may see. Now I'm praying. Please, I want you to listen. Bring them out. There are people here. One of the end time mantles that is going to be restored to the church is authentic healing ministry. The healing ministry with power.
power that heals and i sense that there are people here some of you have been praying and fasting please bring them out i stretch my hands that mantle to heal take the healing power of jesus to the nations receive it now receive it now receive it now men and women like Catherine Pullman men and women like every sample McPherson we reignite that apostolic fire that revival to heal the sick to heal the sick to heal the sick to heal the sick Hallelujah. Now hear me. This is a prophetic ministry. Your father is a prophet. And there are many of you who are connected to this vision. But that prophetic mantle has been hovering around you. But it has not landed in your life. I want to release that grace. I believe there are people here who will begin to walk in strange levels of the prophetic. Can I release that mantle upon you? Father, I don't know where they are in this crowd and watching. Everyone called into the prophetic office, the prophetic ministry. I stretch my hands right now. Receive that grace now. Take that up. Take that grace now. Men and women, drink of the prophetic fountain. Help this lady, please. Drink of the prophetic fountain. Please help us. In the name of Jesus, I stir up that prophetic grace. I stir up that prophetic grace. Spring up all wells. Spring up all prophetic wells. Spring up all prophetic wells. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb seated on the throne, mountains bow down, every ocean rolls. The King of Kings, we will praise Adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Praise Adonai, all the nations of the earth. Is there a name like Diolu? Diolu, is it Diolu or something? Who is Diolu? Come. What do you do, sir? You are a pastor. I want to pray for you because the Lord is saying the limitation you have seen in ministry that is about to take it away as a reproach. Take that reproach away. I pray for you, sir. I do not know you, but in the name of Jesus, may the hand of God rest upon you. Take that grace right now. A new season by the Spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Who is, um, in the name of Jesus, I stand in partnership with the grace upon the prophet of God in this house to declare over someone every door that has refused to open malice from this moment forward we declare that door open now 
shout a loud amen open now open now open now open now in the name of jesus let me command restoration he said alas master for it was borrowed and he said where fell it there are many people who are in all kinds of situations in need of restoration by the power of the highest i speak to someone between now and the end of march i speak prophetically let there be supernatural restoration supernatural restoration supernatural restoration number three let me pray for you and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren but that was not his story the bible says the mother cursed him as a result of her pain Jabez but he got to a point where he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast I want to pray for someone whatever has limited you in the name that is above all names be enlarged right now be enlarged right now I prophesy increase expand to the north expand to the east expand to the south expand to the west in the name of Jesus A man called Job, who was once the richest man in the east. The Bible says that man went down from grace to grass until he became an object of mockery. But in Job chapter 42 and verse 10, the Bible says, And God turned again the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And he said all his former acquaintances who had left him, they now began to return. And the Bible says everyone brought gifts and a piece of money. I declare whoever has left you, by reason of the tragedies that have come upon your life, I compel them to return with gifts. I compel them to return with favor. I compel them to return with favor. I compel them to return with favor. Two more impartations and we're done. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty let me declare there is a grace for favor it compels men and systems to walk towards your progress wherever you are I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost let the grace for favor rest on you let the grace of favor rest on your business rest on your ministry rest on your family in the name of Jesus finally I want to pray for you the Bible says and the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death I want to rebuke the ugly spirit of untimely death that is sweeping from nation to nation destroying great lives and great potentials I hope you know that death is beyond the phenomenon death is a spirit according to revelation the rider upon the pale horse holding a pair of balances on his hand and his name is death death is a spirit more than just a natural occurrence and that spirit like all other spirits can answer to the name of Jesus therefore I declare he says to deliver them who have been appointed unto death anyone here and any family that the devil is already programming that you will not see the end of 2023 anyone here that in the realm of the spirit it is almost like a done deal i declare in the name of jesus and by the power that raised christ from the dead the fullness of your days you will fulfill the fullness of your days you will fulfill you will not die not by the sword not by accident not by plane crash not by kidnapping not by the activity of wicked men the lord preserves your going in the lord preserves your coming out in the name of jesus let me start with those who have lost things you have lost things in the name that is above all names i'm praying now here at koinonia by the power that raised Christ from the dead, from Abuja to Zaria to UK to US to Canada, across Africa, Koinonia Global, and indeed the body of Christ, I stand by the privilege of the election of grace, and I decree and declare, let there be a restoration now.
now. Let there be a restoration 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 now. For the last one month, this prayer point has not left my spirit. Joel chapter 2. Some of you have lost all kinds of things. Everything to be lost has left you. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You have lost joy. You have lost strategic resources. It's time to have it back. Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years. And I will restore to you the years. God can restore time. Did you hear what I said? God can restore time. I will restore to you the years. If God cannot restore time, then he is not greater than time. If it is, he is greater and higher than the realm of time, then he must sustain the ability to restore time. Jeremiah 30 and verse 17. Please give it to us quickly. We are praying. Someone's life is changing. For I will restore health unto you. Those failing organs. Those failing body parts. You are just 20, 30. And yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things. It's time to be angry. God does not just restore time. God restores health and vitality. Psalm 41, 1 to 3. Shabaka parakatos yata. Blessed is the man that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He says, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. He says, thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Shout verse 3 together. The Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing. And I will make all his bed in sickness. God will not allow him to die. Not allow him to deplete and famish. Harandos Kalibrakati Zeta. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace. Who has called you to his eternal glory. He says after that ye have suffered a while. What does he do? Make you perfect. Establish you. Strengthen you. And then settle you. Say it again. Make you perfect. Establish you. Strengthen you. And then settle you. Say father. I decree, I declare divine restoration of opportunities, of relationships, of resources, of men, of my joy. Now, open your mouth and pray. Restoration. 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 Harisabalagadash. Rampatalagabarakatos. Rakatas Kotobros. Abrakatabalakata Fraskatabalaka. Restoration. 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 Restore joy. Restore years. Restore things. Restore men. Restore resources. Shabaka Paros. Rakata Fraskata Vaskabash. Rakata Fraskata Palakos. Rakata Brantakabash. Abrakatos Koto Prekatelet. Cry restoration. Cry restoration. Cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many? As much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity, but he did not stop there. God restored by giving twice. Oh, 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 the eyes of the spirit and I see a mighty army rising yes I know they're rising in the thousands coming from afar coming from afar explanation from losses financial depletions the death of loved ones the loss of relationships closed doors in the name of Jesus the spirit that is behind it I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic I decree and declare that spirit gives way now that spirit gives way now that spirit gives way now upon your head you may not see it but it keeps calling tragedies to your life in the name of Jesus Christ 
by the blood of the eternal covenant I wipe that mark from your face now I wipe that mark from your destiny now hear me everyone you have lost favor with lost touch with in this place tonight by the mercy of God I command restoration I command reconnection I command restoration I command reconnection in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now I want to pray specifically for those who are in any kind of financial trouble I've owed people before I know what it means the, 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 the pain only God can explain what it takes to not be able to have a sound sleep because there are bills you are owing whether institutionally whether corporately whether personally none of them is profitable I pray for you the same grace that brought the axe head from the waters in the name of Jesus every financial situation you have gotten into that is leaving you now with shame and embarrassment by the power that raised Christ from the dead come out of that situation come out of that situation by the ministry of men come out of that situation by the ministry of favor come out of that situation by the ministry of wisdom come out of that situation by the ministry of mercy come out of that situation in the name of Jesus Christ for those who have lost time delay has happened in your life and the truth is that time has gone even if the constraint were taken away from your life it will take grace for you to catch up I pray for you there is speed and there is restoration these are the two mysteries that help men to redeem time the Bible says redeeming the time because the days are evil and there are two spiritual forces allocated for time redemption one is called speed another is called restoration when God wants to help you you will experience both restoration brings yesterday into tomorrow speed moves you further into your tomorrow I pray for you by the force of speed and the force of restoration may time be redeemed now may time be recovered now by the forces of speed and the forces of restoration may time be redeemed now everyone here who is under any curse any diabolic manifestation the scourging tongues of men according to Job chapter 5 one of the six things that he says God would deliver us from anyone who is a victim of that I pray for you here at Koinonia in the name of Jesus be delivered from any and all evil be delivered from any and all evil now hear me some of you perhaps what you are going through is because of the pain that you cause for others maybe in your time of ignorance and you cause pain for maybe your parents or you cause pain for a man of God and in their pain or some woman some intercessor and some of them in their pain they hit their chest and made declarations to the heaven that you will not prosper some of them have died today some of them have gone away you need help I stand by the advantage of priesthood everybody who has spoken negatively maybe your biological parents maybe a man of God you ignored maybe somebody that you cause pain in their life in their family I call upon the God of all grace and mercy this night let that curse come to an end over your life let that curse come to an end over your life where they said you will die I prophesy leave where they said you will fail I prophesy go and excel where they said your children would do the same negative thing I midwife by prophecy may your children be Beulah and Hephzibah in the name of Jesus Christ 
that out of their pain they said it will never be well with you I call upon the God of mercy because today you are the righteous I say to you it shall be well Hezekiah where Isaiah has told you the sickness is unto death I stand in the name of Jesus Christ as an able minister of the New Testament and I pray for you live long and fulfill your days live long and fulfill your days let me prophesy to Ruth you've lost your husband lost your children and you have said do not call me all that name call me Mara it is bitter call me all of that and Naomi has tried to comfort you oh Ruth hear the word of the Lord there is still the second phase of your life you are yet to meet Boaz you are yet to become part of the lineage of Jesus therefore by prophecy I open up the new season of your life Gideon you may be the weakest and your father's house the weakest but in the name of Jesus I speak to you like the angel spoke to Gideon from tonight go in this your might hallelujah you may be like Mary and Martha Martha said if you had come earlier he would have he would not have died but I like what she said even now even now even now it didn't happen in 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. But even now, I decree and declare, may your eyes see your desire before December. Please hear me. Every grace that God has deposited in this house that is not yet speaking in your life, I release my faith one more time in the name of Jesus perhaps through dishonor perhaps through carelessness lack of discernment all of these things that I mentioned you are not having it work in your life I agree with you by faith and we stand together as a noble family of faith I declare may this grace rest on your life may this grace rest on your life hallelujah when Sarah bore Isaac she named him laughter and she said that God has made me to laugh and all who hear me will laugh with me I decree and declare by this prophetic word let crying mourning weeping come to an end because the Bible says weeping may endure for the night but it says joy comes with the morning and the Bible says he called the light day and the darkness he called night that means when light comes it is your day now that light has come I command the night to cease oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh,
Receivest it and thou shalt have it. How could I lead a ministry like this without the favor of God? This is the, there are many of you having high blood pressure today. I'm, I'm not trying to insult you, forgive me, but it's true. If God does not show you favor, life is hard, unbearably hard. Where will the finances come from? Even if you have money, where will the access come from? Do you know what it means for gatekeepers to open their hearts over you? It has to be God. In one minute, I'd like you to pray, Father, may, may favor come upon my life. May favor come upon my life. Difficult things become easy when the grace called favor is upon you. Ye have not because ye ask not. 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 Now, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic office by the privilege of the election of grace and I stretch my hands first over you here in Abuja our family in Zaria those following from around the globe from America to Europe to Asia the Caribbeans as many as are following and will follow in the name of Jesus, the one who has shown us mercy, I decree and declare right now, receive ye this grace called favor. Receive ye this grace called favor. I place this mantle upon your life. Take this grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the morning, experience favor. In the afternoon, experience favor. In the night, experience favor. In Nigeria, experience favor. In America, experience favor. In Europe, experience favor. Every door 
that needs favor for, to be open I declare may favor open that door now hear me every strategic relationship you have lost through carelessness and lack of discernment I call on my God who is also your God let there be a supernatural reconnection now that dishonor has shut that was once open and dishonor shut it by the mercy of the God of David we reopen that door now and in the name of Jesus many of you are gifted but the favor to announce you is not there you are so gifted gifted to a point that is institutions that should be patronizing your gift in the name of jesus by the in the name of jesus christ i give your gift visibility now by this gift let those who have the capacity to both discern and reward you may they find you in the name of Jesus hear me in this new season of your life every relationship you need to connect with some of you may not know them international relationships ministerial relationships I declare may that connection happen for you now everyone anointed commissioned and ordained to find you and hold your hand in this season wherever they are i stand by the prophetic i call them into your life now hear me i stand under the corporate grace of the fathers of faith who have transferred these graces to us and under this corporate anointing i declare in the name of jesus as a contribution of this supply to the body of christ find the grace for favor i'm going to count three and when i count three those inside outside those following online you are going to shout the name jesus the bible says wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name an office that is above every other name it says that at the name of jesus every knee shall bow is that in your bible of things in heaven of things in the earth of things under the earth that includes things in your office that includes things in your house that includes negative things in your body it says they will bow at the count of three i want you to shout you are not holding a trumpet but your mouth will be that shout and as you shout hear me please the power of god is going to come on several people there will be a massive deliverance in this place deliverance means that you are being separated from that which impedes your progress it can be a spirit it can be a condition are we together at the count of three i want you to shout let that sound get into the realm of the spirit and in the name of jesus there will be massive deliverance father we thank you that you honor your word this is the feast of fat things even with the spirit at the count of three every burden every yoke every power every altar that has tied down destinies and will not let you rise in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god your liberty comes right now are you ready one two three shout jesus in the name of jesus be released now please bring them out in the name of jesus i decree and declare yokes break now yokes break now yokes break now yokes break now
Ah, an end comes to negative patterns, negative cycles, negative patterns, negative cycles. In the name of Jesus. Please, if you can bring them out very quickly, I want to pray for them. My God, negative patterns are breaking, negative cycles are breaking whether an usher or not if someone is under the anointing close to you please help to bring them up so that we can just redeem the time i'm still praying again i'm praying negative patterns it happened to your father it happened to your mother it happened to your siblings now it's coming upon you let that fire from heaven please bring them out right now in the name of jesus christ i declare an end to that oppression now an end to that oppression now i hope you are not silent you should be praying declaring by the spirit that an end comes to any and every captivity in my life by the power of the blood by the power of the blood this is a miracle service by the power of the blood the sound of mourning the sound of languishing must come to an end in the name of jesus another kind of sound the bible says the sound of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous was you praying every spirit that will not let you go tying down your destiny programming climates of disfavor right now in the name of jesus my god the power of god is coming on people right now i decree and i declare that spirit lets you go now that spirit lets you go now no matter how long you have been under that influence by the power that raised christ from the dead i declare your deliverance right now i declare your deliverance right now i declare your deliverance right now someone shout a loud amen i declare your deliverance right now hallelujah now the lord is showing me the faces of people and oftentimes i see this as i'm ministering to people i will see a whole human being in the realm of the spirit but not see the face the glory of a man is upon his face please hear me carefully and when the glory of a man is covered no matter what you are doing it cannot find expression i want to pray for a few people i don't know what has failed your glory the count of three may that veil be torn and shredded to pieces right now one two three be delivered right now 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 everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen one more time prophesy to your destiny everything that was lost shall be returned unto me hallelujah there is there are two people i'm seeing here the lord is revealing to me let me just walk as the spirit of god is revealing to me there is a strong anointing for the evangelistic that is coming upon you this has been a passion in your heart right from when you were you were young 
and the power of God is coming upon you because the season your season of training is coming to an end and the Lord is about to release you it's a strong anointing you know that many evangelists are transiting they are joining the cloud of witnesses already and the Lord is working on a new breed of people that is bringing I, I saw two people I, I'm, I'm sure that there may be so many connected but I'm praying right now Lord I don't know where those two people are in the realm of the spirit it can be male or female the first person to announce the resurrected Christ was a woman I decree and declare may that man to rest upon someone right now May that man to rest upon someone right now. May that man to rest upon someone right now. May that man to rest upon someone right now. Now please listen to me. The end time army. Please listen. The end time army. Madam. The anointing of the spirit is coming on you that woman on green i just saw light coming on her and the lord is saying he's bringing a season again i don't know why god is ending seasons and opening others a word can come for someone but you can receive by faith also in the name of jesus let every negative season come to an end now please hear me please hear me in this end time as we prepare for the return of christ god's army the formation of god's army is threefold there is a tripartite formation of god's army that means the army will largely be the distribution of the army will be threefold number one the first dimension of the structure of this army would be the ministry of prophetic intercessors this is what will happen in the end time as i'm mentioning the cases those who are part of it this grace will begin to come upon you prophetic intercessors there are people who will rise men who understand the art of the altar please bring them out in the name of jesus this is the first formation of this end time army ordinary people who will access power with god they will pray the gospel over nations they will pray the gospel over territories young and old alike by the influence of the spirit and anyone here under the sound of my voice who has been anointed and is being recruited by the spirit to operate as a prophetic intercessor after the order of Anna after the order of Elijah may that mantle wherever you are in whether you are in ministry or not in the name of Jesus may that mantle fall upon you right now the grace to travel with prayer and fasting until revival breaks out across the nations of the earth in the name of Jesus Christ I have set watchmen upon your wall he says that they will give him no rest day and night until I establish Jerusalem again I'm declaring by the Spirit may that man to fall right now let it fall on men and women young and old number two the second category of this prophetic formation of the end time army listen to me are those who are sent apostolically into the seven mountains these are the ones that the bible calls sheep among wolves the jurisdiction of their function is in the cosmos itself hallelujah now hear me the secret of excelling as a sheep among wolves is the spirit of wisdom not just the wisdom of heaven even the wisdom of egypt you must understand the wisdom of egypt are we together yes moses himself with the mandate of the deliverer was sent to learn the wisdom of he said be wise as a serpent he's not just talking of a snake the serpent is the symbol of egypt that is the place where wealth resides that is the place where influence resides so there are people right now this night the impartation that is coming upon you it will not just make you a preacher on the altar it will make you a business executive and administrator at the highest level you are still part of the army it's not just preachers alone 
I decree and declare champions with the spirit of excellence like Daniel may that mantle at the count of three as you shout Jesus the spirit of wisdom is resting upon you are you ready now one my God two three shout Jesus take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now grace to master the wisdom of Egypt until you excel grace to dominate the cosmos by the excellency of the spirit god bless you is it all right if we pray for two minutes now here's what we're going to do we're going to sing that song congratulations again even if it's just for one or two minutes after that listen to me we are going to shout halal yeshua what you know as hallelujah seven times it's going to be a loud prophetic shout the moment that happens you are going to begin to pray over your needs and your requests we'll be releasing our faith with you here listen for as long and and by the integrity of the lord jesus christ the moment we begin to pray, I want to assure you that every mountain, every Jericho that has surrounded your life, it must drop down. Is someone ready now? Just for two minutes and then we're ready for hallelujah seven times. Go ahead. Congratulations to your sins. stand everyone ah someone is about to testify joshua chapter 6 please give us verse 16 then we go to verse 20 we're about to shout seven times and it came to pass 6 16 joshua it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew the trumpet joshua said unto the people shout for the lord has given you the city verse 20 so the people shouted when the priest blew the trumpet when did they shout when the priest blew the trumpet and it came to pass when the people had the sound of the trumpet and the people shouted with a great shout the wall fell down so that the people went up into the city every man straight before him and they took the city listen this is not an ordinary shout you are not just shouting this is not a pentecostal gibberish the trumpets that you have now is the time to bring it out we are going to shout seven times prophetic times you don't have your trumpet don't worry you can shout hallelujah some are shouting hallelujah some are blasting the trumpet listen I want you to put your prayer request before you that which needs to change you are going to shout at it you are going to say hallelujah at it i will prompt you 
are we together together as a worship team will do it seven times and after that you will pray in one minute and i'll speak over you are you ready now father in the name of jesus i decree and declare that as we shout let every mountain let every jericho let every negative circumstance there are people with their prayer requests already lifting it up before the lord are you ready now number one say hallelujah hallelujah Number two. Number three. Number four. My goodness, I sense the anointing. Number five. Get ready now. At the seventh shout, you begin to blast in tongues and pray. Number six. Are you ready for number seven? Who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel? Before Zerubbabel, thou shalt be great plain. Number seven. Every mountain you go down. 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 Go ahead and begin to pray. Lord, I decree and declare. It's a new sound coming from this family. It's a new sound coming from this church. It's a new sound coming from my office, coming from my altar, coming from my children. Is someone praying? Outside pray, inside pray. Someone is praying, don't be silent. Don't be silent. Now you are praying. You are releasing your faith. Every oppression you come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Shame and reproach you come to an end. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Pray for your ministry man of God. It's time to rise. Producing a new sound. Pray for your business. Pray for your work with God. Pray for the program of God on earth. Someone is praying. One minute we are praying. Shalakatapakatosh. Pray for household of David. It's a new season. A new sound. Right from here to the nations of the earth. Through the airwaves. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Now unto the one upon the throne. We raise a sound. We raise a sound. For his God alone. For he is God and God alone. One more time. Now unto, unto the one upon the throne. We raise a sound. We raise a sound. Oh, God, God alone. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you prophetically. Welcome to a new season. I stand upon the grace of the man of God and his wife and I declare, household of David, welcome to a new season. In the name of Jesus, the sound of mourning, the sound of shame, the sound of languishing, the sound of defeat, the sound of discouragement comes to an end now. We raise a new sound, a sound of prosperity, a sound of increase, a sound of righteousness, a sound of speed, a sound of restoration, a sound of laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. For some of you right here, before you get home tonight, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, your testimony will be waiting for you. The Lord is lifting you, we're wrapping up. And I am strong when I am on your shoulder. You raise me up And I am strong When I am on your shoulder You raise me up Before we return home tonight My apologies for taking a few more minutes there are people who are scattered within this auditorium and those who are outside you are saying apostle while i heard you teach the spirit of god began to speak to me that more than receiving a miracle for me it is my relationship with jesus listen in the kingdom there are many keys of the kingdom let's minimize movement please let's just honor the altar call but there is only one key to the kingdom it is not an object it is a person jesus even the son of the living god the one who was crucified but is now exalted as lord and christ perhaps you are here and you've never had the opportunity to make jesus lord of your life or you are here and you are saying apostle truly i can say that i've surrendered my heart to the lord but right now i cannot say i'm walking in righteousness my life has gone haywire I need restoration. I do not want to return home the way I came. You might be outside. You might be falling online. We just have two minutes for you. Walking on borrowed time. I'm going to count one to five. May I please request that you courageously run and come and stand here. As I lead you to pray. I'm beginning my counting now. One. You're running to Jesus. Careful so you don't injure yourself. But make sure you run. Let there be a new sound from your life and your destiny, a sound of surrender. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Are you celebrating salvation? Come to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. Leave your seat and come. It's a sound that you need to raise. Come. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've taken the pain and the sorrow away. You've
given me peace undeniable there's no need to cry cause you're always with me you're my father my everything yeah. oh man my Thank you for making this decision please lift your right hand as a sign of surrender to jesus in the presence and the company of god's people please say this after me let it be loud and clear mean it from your heart say lord jesus tonight i believe in you that you are the son of god i come to you just as i am and i declare that i cannot help myself but i believe that you died for me I believe that you rose up from the dead for my justification right now I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior as my Lord and as my King I declare that the power of sin of Satan of hell and of the grave is broken over my life from tonight i declare that i am a child of god i am the righteousness of god in christ jesus i go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these ones they have come to you and the bible says as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away in the name of jesus the son of the living god i declare that based on the authority of scripture your sins are forgiven and i declare by the power of the holy spirit that you are recipients of eternal life even the life of god from tonight until forever you walk in righteousness the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life in jesus name we pray okay may i please request that you quickly move to my left which would be uh, uh, am i correct on that my left just follow the gentleman holding the placard the new convert placard they will have a word with you very quickly and you will return back to your seat let's honor them very quickly let's honor them very quickly the lord bless you in jesus name